Biden has said it is essential for political aid to exercise discretion in both their public and private lives to avoid any actions that could tarnish the government's reputation. The vice president gave the charge during the opening ceremony of a retreat and sensitization program on administrative procedure and governance in the public sector. Speaking to participants, which includes political aides and senior civil servants on the topic forging a path to responsible governance, a call to political aides, Vice President Shatima pointed out that the retreat is designed to facilitate their transition and equip them with the fundamental tenets of public sector administration and governance. From today, there are words and actions will undergo more intense scrutiny occasionally even rigorous criticism. Therefore, it is absolutely essential to exercise discretion in both your public and private lives and to avoid any action or actions that will tarnish the reputation of the government. This retreat marks your case awakening. It provides you the opportunity to exchange ideas gain valuable practical insights and engage in meaningful discussions. You are here to benefit from the wisdom of seasoned experts, whether in the realm of security or public administration. I wholeheartedly encourage your active involvement, urge you to clarity and invite you to share your perspective. Secretary of the State House Engineer Funsho Adebi disclosed that the training was aimed at registering the commitment of the political aid towards actualizing the goals of the President Bola Tinubu-led administration. To look at how to manage what I call our bosses interrelationship. And not only that, we are here to see what is the schedule of duty of the principal staffs principal is of our principals, if you understand what I mean now. What do we do? How do we do it in a way as not to in any way embarrass our principals? Not only that, we are here to also look at relationship with other tiers of government, National Assembly, as well as the judiciary. It is important we should discover in the course of our lecture the interrelationship between the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. It may sound seamless, but the reality is that one is like a watchdog on the other. How do we manage information? How do we behave? How do we even comport ourselves? What are our dress codes? These are things we are here to carefully look into. Permit me, therefore, Senior Excellency Sir, to present to you one of the best aids you can ever have in Nigeria. In the little time we have spent, they have demonstrated their sense of commitment loyalty, readiness to throw their weight behind the success of our God-given in attendance at the event were the Deputy Chief of Staff to the President, Office of the Vice President, Senator Ibrahim Hassan Hadija, Permanent Secretary of the State House Engineer Funsho Adebi, the Director General National Intelligence Agency Abuba Karufai, the Representative of the Director General Directorate of State Services, and other senior government officials.